Russ Cozart. Uh, he had a great career as an athlete and an uh, even better career as a coach in the sport of wrestling. And uh, was there one individual or individuals that influenced you more than others and affected your ability to coach and, and to wrestle? Um. You know, it's it's been a long career, you know, and it's been a good career. And it all started with my high school coach, you know, uh, uh, George Beresford and at Upland High School. And um, I had a natural enthusiasm for all sports. And uh, I, I love sports and I loved athletics at a young age. But I think uh, um, he got me started. He got me thinking about the sport. Before I met him, wrestling was just an, a sport to me another sport but when I met him and the more I hung around him and the more I listened to him the more I learned about wrestling and the more it started to captivate me and then when I took it and I said this is what I'm gonna do this is what is gonna make me this is the sport that I'm choosing is that he he helped me get to a, a certain level and it was his innovative thinking and his uh, approach to wrestling that got me thinking, got me started. And, um, you know, I've met a lot of great coaches uh, along the way that, that have taught me a lot about the sport and, and what it takes to be a good wrestler. Uh, Dan Gable, John Smith, Jay Robinson. Um, these were guys that I used to hang out with and talk to and and you know these are types of guys that you'd only have to sit and talk to them for 15 minutes and they were such they were such competitors that if you listen to them correctly you could you could hear the 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 correct uh things that get to get you to a new level mm -hmm. and just watch them operate and watch them handle wrestlers and watch them handle practices um and lead people was, was a, an awesome a site to get me to another level of coaching. Mm -hmm. When you were growing up in the sport, did you have any idols you looked up to? I was a. Uh, I started out real young in sports, about five, six years old. I was playing sports, and and every every sport there was an icon, you know, that I you know, would just love, just emulate, you know, guys like baseball players like Sandy Koufax, you know, Don Drysdale, uh, uh, you know, basketball players like uh, Wilt Chamberlain and Jerry West and uh, uh, great, just great athletes that I would watch TV. I didn't have a chance to meet them in person, but I would just watch them and how they would play the game or play the sport for the love of it and just were, were great competitors. And then, of course, when I got into wrestling, it, you know, I was at the age where Dan Gable was the man, you know, and guys like uh, Wayne Wells and the Peterson brothers, you know, they became uh, heroes and, and guys to emulate um, as far as uh, my direction. But I was. I was motivated by other athletes in, in other sports as well as wrestlers. Uh, Ernie Banks from the Chicago Cubs was one of my favorite uh, because of the way that he used to talk in interviews, how, how he used to talk about the sport of baseball that he played. Mm -hmm. And I would always just take other sports and, and, and put them into my own sport of wrestling. And uh, these were just great guys, guys that Guys that were great competitors, but they were very relaxed with what they were doing. Mm -hmm. That was that were those were the guys that I looked up to. How'd you get started in the sport? I know that uh, you're the oldest of a number of Cozart boys that mm -hmm. wrestled, and what got you started, Russ? Well, like like I said, I, I was involved with a lot of different sports, and and uh, and wrestling was one of them that I did at one time, and when I was very young, and but I always enjoyed wrestling from the very first time that I did it. And I got in, involved with it as an intramural program at, at a very young age, in elementary and, and junior high, where it was just wrestling within the school. And uh, I always, you know, I 
I was a short guy, a little smaller guy, but I loved athletics and I was a, I just loved to compete. And uh, wrestling was one of those things that I did and I liked it immediately. And the thing what it was was that got me about wrestling was is that it's individuality. You know, but I love football and I love team sports, but when I got my hand raised in winning, it was like I hit a home run. Mm -hmm. You know, in baseball, it's, it's almost the same thing, right? Well, I could win five matches in one, ga in one day, but I could never hit five home runs in one game. Right. <laughs> it, was, it was wrestling that gave you that, that feeling, you know, of accomplishment, of victory, of, of not only the self-serving things, but it was a, I was always motivated to try and do better, to be a better basketball player, baseball player, whatever I was doing, I, 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 I approached them all in the same way of trying to be better. And then wrestling, you know, it was like, okay, you got to be tougher, meaner, and train a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then when I got to high school, it was, uh, you know, uh, uh, I had been wrestling for a couple years, but not in a strong competitive way, but I had been wrestling intramural wise and within, within our school system. And, um, I, uh, I went out for the team and, and George Beresford wasn't my coach till I was a sophomore, but as a freshman, um, I was so small that they wouldn't let me go out for football. And, um, I was a younger kid. I was only 14 when I was a freshman and, um, and uh, I was, I had kind of stopped growing. And, and uh, so my, uh, this great love of sports that I had taken from elementary, junior high was kind of fading a little bit on me. And so then uh, when I went out for the freshman wrestling team and uh, I, uh, I made the team, I made the varsity my freshman year, uh, I had brought some skills with me and uh, it was great. It, from then on out, I was a wrestler. And Russ, what aspect of your character has driven you to the level of success you've had? Obviously, how many years as a coach of your team's been undefeated down in Florida now? Well, it's, we've been undefeated the whole time I've been there, 27 years. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so obviously that's a, a feat that's pretty unparalleled, I think, in any sport. So right. what, what aspect of Russ Coe's art has given you that level of success? You? I, you know, wrestling has done so much for me personally. Um, it's, um, it's, you know, every kid grows up and... and and, you know, sports is a thing that can shape your life. And I think wrestling has, has shaped my life a lot. And just the, the hard work to teach you to work hard and, and the, the teach you to be a sportsman, you know, sportsman-like conduct, mm -hmm. and, and to be a hard worker. You know, wrestling is not genetic. It's not six foot six, 275 pounds. Um, you know, I'm a great basketball player, great football player. It's, it's, it's hard work, and it shaped my life. I, I was not born with great work ethic. I was not born with great character. Sports have shaped my, my, my life. And, 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 and uh, as an athlete, it taught me to work hard, to stay focused, and, 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 uh, and put my life in a certain direction. You know, it's, not, it's okay to dedicate yourself to be a great wrestler. Mm -hmm. Get a high school education, get a college education. You know, and, and just, and it taught me to sacrifice and sacrifice for good causes. It taught me discipline. It taught me to help my teammates out and to back them and, and to be honest. And then when I moved into the coaching ranks, it was totally another different thing. And I've learned so much from being a coach and leading young guys. You have to be a great example. And I, you know, I wasn't always a great example, but the sport the institution of coaching has taught me that mm -hmm. to be a great leader to be a guy that the um, the kids could trust they could follow they could believe in and all these things have shaped me and I have um, being a wrestler and being a coach to thank for that mm -hmm. because if it wasn't for that you know you know I don't you know who knows but it, you know as a small kid I was always gravitated towards athletics being an athlete and then it was very natural for me to be a coach.
and I have a lot of things to be I have a lot of things to be grateful for as being a, a wrestler and a coach. Now, what made you decide to coach? Uh, I know that, you know, from my observation of you through the years, you were a natural at it, even though in high school we were on opposing teams, we'd go to meets and you would coach me and try to help me. So I know that capacity of your personality. But what, what got you interested in, in Yeah, it, it, and it's like, it's like that. When I was an athlete, you know, I loved athletics. And, it, and, it, and, and I never saw it coming. But I just naturally moved into helping you and helping my little brother, Rich, who was a year younger than me. Hmm. And we'd always go wrestle on Saturdays when there wouldn't be no coaches around. We'd go to the summer tournaments. For years, we, we, once we got hooked onto the sport and we found there was tournaments over in this part of town, we'd, hitch, we'd, we'd beg people to give us rides when we didn't have our cars. And then when we got our cars, we had a motorcycle. We used to... He used to jump on the back, and we would ride a motorcycle for 40 or 50 miles, a small little motorcycle, just to go to a wrestling tournament. And I would sit there and coach him in the corner. And, um, but George Beresford is the guy that got me into coaching, and I'm so grateful that I had him as a high school coach my last three years, is that he was a thinking coach. And, uh, and, and, and it was just... Exactly what it, it, it appealed to me so much. It, he wasn't a, 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 you know, bash your head against the wall kind of coach or go get him. He was a thinking coach. And he taught me techniques and he was such a great leader and he, a great orator. He, he, he had great speaking skills. Yeah. And um, I, I almost, as a kid, I can remember just hanging on every word that he said. And he was a great person to follow. Yeah. He was a man of great character. And, um, but he's the one that I said, I'm going to be a coach. I'm going to be like him. And I said that my junior year in high school, hmm. is that I'm going to, I'm going to coach. Because at that point, you know, every kid, well, what are you going to be when you grow up? A fireman, a policeman, or what? You know, and all these things were swirling in my head. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I remembered, I go, I'm going to be a coach. That's what I want to be. And uh, that's where it kind of started and moved on from. What was your greatest memory in the sport, Russ? You know, it spanned a lot of years here. So. <laughs> I've, had, uh, I've had a lot of great memories. I mean, uh, junior high or elementary school, I can still remember winning my um, first little intramural match. Uh, I, can, I can still remember being the varsity guy my first year at Upland. Uh, I can remember losing my CIF finals match at uh, Redondo Beach High School 1971. I can remember winning my first national title at the first USWF Greco-Roman Championships at Cal State Fullerton. That, and uh, that whole tournament at the CIF was uh, championships were were so great because, you know, wrestling was such a big sport at in California, Southern California. We didn't have a state championship, and everything was everything was coming to a focus point, and that was a great tournament for me. I remember every match, and and even the the first round and second round and third round matches that I won were just were just awesome. And then coaching my first team at Upland. You know, seeing those guys and, and just stumbling around as a 22-year-old head coach and, uh, and trying to get things done and watching kids win and, and trying to prepare them. Um, and then winning the seven world titles on the veterans, uh, was, each one was uh, just an awesome experience. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and then watching my sons. That's probably the best. Well, Russ, uh, congratulations for being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. And even though you've been in Florida for a few years now, <laughs> it's just great to have you back. And it's a great honor for you, and it's greatly deserved. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.